All right, what's up, familia? Welcome inside the big week. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep your tune the lines. Got your load secure. All right, so as you guys know, I like to be on the late train on most things. Let everybody else talk about it. Let all the emotions come out and everything. And when it's not a hot topic anymore, that's where I come in. So <clears throat> I remember um, exactly where I was at. It's going to be one of those moments where you remember exactly where you were at maybe not for you guys but for me it will be right like the uh, oj simpson when it came down that he was uh, found not guilty when the verdict came out i remember exactly where i was at um 9 11 i remember exactly where i was at well for this i actually was watching it live i was watching it and i was ironing my pants you know, I was I was ironing my pants, and I was just uh, I, I was listening to it, watching it at the same time. Had a couple of jams uh, playing in the background on the phone, right? So it was kind of low because I really wanted to hear a little bit more what he was saying. But it's kind of hard, Holmes, at least for me to iron my pants without music going on in the background, right? But I was able to hear and see everything clearly. And then when it happened, you know, I saw him and he hits, you know, goes for his ear. Then he goes down and it's like, oh, damn, you know. So, you know, I contacted one of the homies, man, told him, like, hey, man, you know, this happened. He's all like, yeah, you know what? I uh, I saw it. And um, it was, uh, it, it was crazy, man. It was, you know, to witness that. Um, uh, an assassination attempt on on a president you know um i I've, I've never seen that okay me myself personally i've never seen that okay um or i say president i should say somebody who's running for president former president who's running for president right all right so my thoughts on it obviously dude you know the dude that did it man he, he was what 20 years old kind of wacko he looked a little bit off um there's the whole conspiracy stuff i mean it, it's uh i'll tell you guys this man you know social media probably isn't the best thing comes because it lets everybody's you know freakish flag mind just float around right and all kinds of things just start going all over the place it's a conspiracy and um, just so many things. Now, I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it isn't. I, look, if it is, I don't care. I, if, if it isn't, I, I don't care, dog. I, somebody got up there, shot, hit him in the ear, uh, which, which is crazy just when I think about it. Like, damn, a bullet came so close to your face where it made contact with your ear. That's, uh... That that right there itself, that that's pretty crazy, you know. Um, the whole thing of the Secret Service, how did they let this happen? Homeboy just climbed up to the roof. Now there's footage all over the place talking, uh, showing that people were saw this dude, and they're like, "Hey, this dude is up there on the roof with the rifle," and that uh, local uh, law enforcement police officer went up, saw him. The dude pointed the weapon at him. Police officer comes down, then he turns around and uh, unloads. Crazy story all the way around. I know homegirl that's in charge of the Secret Service. She stepped down. Uh, man, she got ripped apart, man. <laughs> Damn, she got uh, she got torn to shreds, so almost verbally, um, on the on the you know the lack of security. But just so many things that were going on. Just too much to talk about, man. In one video, you had the female Secret Service homegirl that couldn't find the, her holster. Um, but the shooting itself. Look. As, as a country, right? I think this is where we're headed. We have it too good here in this country. Uh, we have it too good. We're too spoiled. We're too spoiled that we need to start destroying ourselves. 
Um, because when you don't have something, a lot of people, man, they need something to fight against. They need to find purpose, and that purpose needs to be some sort of, you know, war, even if it's not physical war, right, mental war, whatever it may be. And we have it just way too good, way too easy um, here in this country, man, where, you know, you just start getting all up in your head, homie, and you just start making enemies. And you think it's for the bet, for the good cause, and, you know, you make it your, you make it your life. You know, there's people that wake up thinking about politics and the other side whatever the other side is if you're on the left you're thinking about the right if you're on the right you're thinking about the left and all day that's what you what your life is consumed about and then you go to sleep with that on your mind as well right but it's not just politics it's with other things as well in life um we just have it too good here homes we have it too good here we're all spoiled rotten americans to a certain degree um, some more than others, but we just have it too good and we just need to start destroying ourselves because when it's too good, it's too good. Everybody says they want, you know, peace and some sort of utopia and everything, but that's, I, a lot of people want mayhem, homie. A lot of people want, uh, want mayhem, right? Until mayhem actually really breaks out, then they might think like, damn, you know what? We did have it peaceful. <laughs> um... To the ones that got on their high horse and started uh, talking about why is everybody just talking about Trump? Don't we know that there was a man that died, right? And you could hear, I think it was his wife that was screaming on some of the video, man. Gosh, dog. And a couple of other people got hit. I didn't do any research. Because I heard that their wounds, um, you know, they were in critical con uh, condition. I don't know if, I don't know if anybody knows. Uh, maybe you guys could let me know in the comment section. Did anybody else die? I know other people were injured and that they were in critical condition. But to the best of my knowledge, I don't know if anybody else died. I do know that homeboy died. He got shot in the head, um, protecting his wife and I think his daughter. I may be wrong. But the part I want to get to is when people get on their high horse and they're like, oh, why is everyone talking about Trump? You know, a man died and who are we as a nation? And they started naming him by, by his name, okay? I'll be real, I don't know his name, man. May God bless his soul, you know, and, and be there for, for his family, okay? But... People get on their high horse, especially, well, people that hate Trump, and I'll get to that in a second. People that hate Trump get on their high horse uh, with this incident, that is, with this incident, with this incident. Talking about like, oh man, who are we as a nation? If, you know, a man died and, you know, why is everyone just talking about Trump? This man died, you know, protecting his family and who are we as a country? Look, Holmes. And it seems like nobody wants to be honest about it. I don't know if it's too cavalier or whatever, man. But look, if we're really truly going to be honest about it. Yeah, people say, you know what? Wow, that's sad. But uh, nobody really cares that much. And for those that are saying, hey, man, you know what? I care. I care because a, 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 a person was killed. Well, check this out, Holmes. People die every single day, tragically. There are over, over a hundred people that die tragically in car accidents every single day. Every day. Every single day of the year, over a hundred people die tragically in car accidents. Are you making videos mentioning every single person by name saying, hey, how sad it was. This person was a mother. This person was a father. This was a brother. This was a sister. This was a grandparent. This was a grandchild. D do you make videos like that? No. Why? Because it's not on television. 
So then it's not about the person. It's not about being a human being or, hey, uh, as a nation, who are we? Well, I don't know. Who are you? You only care if it's on TV and if it's popular. You don't care if people die because people die tragically every single day. And by the way, I just brought up a stat in car accidents. That's not to mention all the other deaths that happen every day. And that's just in the country. I'm not talking about the around, around the world. So, man was killed protecting his family? Sad? Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, but to start getting all teary-eyed and, and talking about, like, who are we as a nation when nobody's talking about this man that died tragically? He was a father. Now we have, you know, a, a, a widow. Now we have people. That happens every day. People die tragically every single day. Why are you just pointing this person out? Again, I'm not saying it shouldn't be mentioned. I'm talking about the people that go overboard with the whole who cares about Trump? A man died. Who cares about Trump? Honestly, if this was not a, a rally for Trump, and this dude just got shot and killed, you wouldn't be reporting on it. You wouldn't be making a video talking about like, man, this man died. If some, if that uh, that jackass went up there on the roof and just saw this man walking with his wife and his child and uh, decide to unload and kill them, I mean, you'd be making all these videos and uh, having all these hurt feelings and tearing up. You might. But what about everybody else that dies on a daily basis? No, no love for them. So it's only when it's popular. It's only when it's on television. It's only when it's relevant, when people are talking about it. That's when you want to show your big heart. Because everybody's watching. But anyway, to get off of that... Um... And it would be the same thing the other way around, right? It'd be the same thing the other way around had it been, you know, the... Because uh, this was Trump. So had it been Biden or Kamala Harris, then you would have people that hate Biden or hate Kamala Harris probably doing the same thing. And it's like, people die tragically every day. Yes, it's sad. It's sad. I'm not saying it's not. And I'm saying I'm not saying not to mention it and not to report it. It's sad. Absolutely. But for you to go super duper overboard, like you, you know, got this huge heart for people that die tragically, <laughs> you're going to be crying every single second of every single day. You'll never stop crying. You're going to turn into a freaking raisin all dried up because you're going to cry for the rest of your life but uh, again God bless that person man may, may the Lord bless their soul and it uh, it sucks um, but apparently homeboy uh, you know he's dead the 20 year old the young dude um, again like I said it's uh, I think just as a country, we're all spoiled, rotten Americans to a certain point. Nobody here is really starving to death. I mean, literally, literally starving to death. If we, as people, had to literally get up and hunt for our food, it, it, it would change our priorities. But we don't, man. We, we have it too good. We, 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 our complaints are luxury things. I hear people complain about, oh, man, you know, the carne asada, homie. It's like seven bucks. It's, well, then, hey, dog, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't eat so much, man. This country is the fattest country there is. You know, it's like people complain about luxurious stuff, dog. But... Anyway, man, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's somewhat of a sign of where uh, where we're headed. 
I don't think we've seen the last of this um, in our lifetime. Uh, I don't know how old or young you are, but I think, you know, I'll be honest, man. I think probably somebody's going to try to attempt it again on Trump. You know, he's a he's a polarizing figure, you know, um, people that really hate him, really, truly hate him. Right. So um, especially if he does get elected, if he does win the presidency. Yeah, man, I would say somebody else is a try it now. I think there's going to be a lot more security around him. Um, better measures are going to be taken. But I think people will, will try it again and not be that successful to get a bullet that close to him. I mean, it, it, it hit his ear, which is crazy, dog. That is crazy, you know. Uh, and then him uh, bloodied up, you know, with the fist fight, fight. And I do think people really want want him dead you know people come out publicly and say the right things and say like oh you know what like you know that's sad and everything but honestly man i do i do believe people would have rather have him take it in between the eyes certain people would have rather have him take it between the eyes and died and then they would come out publicly and say like wow that's sad i disagreed with them but i did this is not what i wanted but then you know privately they're like oh yeah they're glad it happened you know um and I, I, I do believe that probably for the other side too, you know, Biden and Kamala Harris, because people get too much all up in their head. So, I mean, uh, we don't have super duper serious problems like that here. Uh, like I like I said, if you got to get up and literally hunt your food uh, every day, it would definitely change, you know, the structure, man, of uh, of how you live your life. But we don't. We don't do that. Instead, we complain about prices of the grocery stores of paying for someone else to go do that work for us. Yet a lot of uh, a lot of people have health issues because we just can't stop, you know, shoving all this junk down our throats. But um, anyway, man. Yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and get my thoughts on it. Um... If, if he becomes president, um, you know, he better get a little bit better, uh, better security, man. That Secret Service, I mean, homegirl's gone now because I do believe it will happen again, you know, on him. Yes, absolutely. You know, people truly, really, really hate him. So I do believe somebody will try it again. Absolutely, man. So, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm glad it didn't happen. Um, not because he's Trump, but because it's just, uh, my goodness, homie, it would send a horrible message if somebody's running for president and, you know, they take one to the head, homie, it doesn't matter, Democrat or Republican. Um, but you know what? We're probably headed that way. We are as a nation, we're probably headed that way, man. In another few, in another decade or so, we probably are headed that way. We're too damn spoiled. We are too spoiled that we need to start cannibalizing and destroying ourselves. So, anyway, with that, familia, as always, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of your surroundings and always keep a safe distance. Blood makes you live. Below it, makes you Until next time, this is Ed the Troll Trucker. Over and out.